All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Um, we are in another edition of the community thing. Um, so hopefully you are able to see my screen. So the agenda, as usual, is we'll uh, go through a couple uh, like releases that we have done or community highlights uh, roadmap of the things that you should expect in the next month. Um, uh, we did a longer term roadmap last time and please take a look at the YouTube video uh, or follow our live roadmap. And if you have any other features that you're working on, please bring them up either during this community saying or on our Slack channel or GitHub discussions or GitHub issues. And uh, finally, we have, uh, I, like, it's not demos, but discussions, uh, one by the whole team and another one um, from the union team uh, specifically on the UI UX experience. So uh, community highlight. One of the biggest things we actually announced, I, I think most folks who have followed this channel know this, but uh, it was officially announced just last week. Flight is a graduate top level project uh, at in the next foundation. It, it's all because of this amazing community. I am extremely, extremely proud to be part of this and thank you for everybody for their support. Uh, what this means, it, it really doesn't change much, but I, I will reach out to some of the most uh, influential folks within this team, uh, within this community to actually create a steering committee. Uh, we want to create a steering committee that is, uh, uh, make sure that the project is moving in a direction that is that works for uh, all of our top contributors as well as new people that come in to the project. Uh, besides that, we do get some funding from the Next Foundation to actually run CICD and things like that. So that really helps the project. Um, also, what it really means is that if you believe this project is here to stay, it's gonna, not going to just vanish overnight. So if you have doubts about whether or not you, know, you can trust an open source project, don't worry, this project is here to stay. So uh, please... Uh, it, if you have those kind of doubts, uh, let us know and we can help you in any other thing. And one of the cool things about this project is it's one of the fastest projects that have graduated from incubation phase uh, in, in less than 10 months. So, uh, thank you. And uh, for graduation, actually, it's important that we, uh, we also are secure as a platform. And uh, if you've already used Flight, you know that it kind of operates on a zero trust security type of model. Um, so uh, we actually have a badge that talks about the internal infrastructure components also and how do we maintain various security practices within the system. So, uh, and again, thanks a lot to all our contributors. Again, we try to keep this list updated, but it's not really completely updated because it doesn't span all the repos uh, that we have but it's been a humongous effort by a lot of different people. And so thank you, uh, thanks a lot. And I think the community is just growing. Um, all right, so last week we actually released 0.19.0 uh, .0 and we quickly released 0 0.19.1 because we actually found a bug in case of, like, uh, so one of our components that was upgraded uh, uses a dependency on GARM. And uh, uh, in some cases, when you do an upgrade, the migration script would not correctly work in the new version of GARM. And the reason was because it, there seems to be a bug in GARM where it cannot resolve big integer uh, you know, version upgrades. So we had to do uh, a bunch of changes internally are not much of changes within the migration system to essentially allow seamless migration. And that's why we released 0 0.19.1 and we had to pull back 0 0.19.0. And we are extremely embarrassed that actually this release went out through our testing process. Um, and we have, uh, since we've added more tests and we've actually changed the way we are releasing. Now, if you go to uh, flight releases, we are releasing uh, beta versions uh, before or pre-releases before releasing a release. And we would love if folks would volunteer to actually try out the beta version in their test environments and help us uh, help us make sure that the release is actually up to the standard. 
That being said, our functional test environment and all those are still running. They, they are supposed to test before going into pre-release, but there is definitely a possibility that in some exotic scenario it might fail. So we would love if folks want to join in and help us uh, make sure that the beta release can be merged to the final release. So uh, I'm looking towards all of the different various organizations that are running flight at scale. Uh, we, but along with that, we had, we did a lot of uh, improvements within this release. A lot of UI changes have gone in. Uh, flight propeller, per cluster now can be horizontally scaled. You can run one per namespace or some uh, in the round robin sharding, sharded fashion. Um, and you can refer to the docs for all the details of that. And it's not really a huge change uh, from the user experience point of view. It's a single line change in your deployment and and that's it, it goes from uh, a single instance to multiple instances. Uh, beyond that, lots of changes in flight kit, basically support for 3.9, um, some edge cases that were fixed. Uh, thank you for all the contributions uh, from the open source folks. And lots of documentation updates actually. If you've been following our docs, we've been working a lot on docs and we still continue to plan to do that. We, uh, in December, we started the, the weekly uh, office hours and essentially Haytham and I are currently manning the office hours. Uh, Haytham does it 7 to 7.30 a.m. Pacific time uh, on Wednesdays and I do it 9 to 9.30 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesdays. Um, so the invite for those are, uh, are you, uh, available using ad event. Please, uh, if you have any questions or you just want to talk or say hi, absolutely, completely open office hours. Uh, but just be mindful that these are not private. Uh, if so, if you have, if you do not want to disclose anything, these might not be the right forum because there might be other participants in it. Uh, but you know how to get in touch if you if you really want to discuss something that is uh, not not open for this, you know disclosure. All right, uh, another one, uh, we've not been doing this, we should be doing this going forward is we talk about our next week's sync. Um, so for example, uh, there is an event calendar, please use it to add uh, yourself to the events. Um, next week, blackshark.ai will be presenting how they make a digital twin. It's not next week, it's two weeks from now, but uh, we'll be presenting how they make a digital twin of the world using flight. Um, and it's pretty fantastic of what they are doing. It would be, I, I hope, uh, I think it will be an amazing discussion. Uh, we've been, uh, Sandra has been really doing a great job releasing a newsletter every month for the last three months. And I think we have a very good format set up in the newsletter. Uh, please subscribe to the newsletter. It really helps us disseminate information really quickly instead of sending emails and bombarding people on Slack at here. If this is more of a passive way of, uh, you know, uh, involving yourself. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel. So if you cannot uh, catch up with one of these OSS things, all of them are recorded. Parts of them are also broken up and, and, and recorded and shared on the YouTube channel. All right, what's coming up in 0 0.19.2? Um, so 0 0.19.2 is slated for end of December, mid, uh, sorry, end of January, mid February. Uh, it's a big release. It's all the work that we've been doing through December almost, uh, and many things in January. Um, one of them is structured data set support. Um, this is like an upgrade and overhaul on flight schema. If you have had issues with flight schema, you'll, you'll know what uh, the problems are here are, but if you don't know, we, just, we invite you to join next OSS sync where we'll have an in-depth in discussion and a demo of structure. They said, uh, <clears throat> we have, uh, we've been working on, like not the Latch Bio team has been working on union type and type annotations. Both of them are slated to be merged. Flight kit support for caching large and offloaded uh, objects. So let's say you have a Pandas data frame. Today, flight only does reference-based um, caching. That means if the pointer 
to the location does not change, then we assume that the data has not changed and we cache it. This works in most scenarios where flight is the owner of the data, but if you have data that's coming in from uh, different places or if you're generating data, it's impossible to know uh, uh, to, to know if it has changed or not, unless you completely perform a, uh, the entire hash of the data set itself, which can be extremely expensive. So uh, what FlightKit uh, and FlightNow support is optional uh, or opt-in hashing for these data sets. So in case you know that you're generating an Pandas data set, data frame, for example, or a random image, you can uh, configure flight or you can configure your workflow. It's not configuration at the flight level, it's only within the workflow or a task. You can, you can use hashing to uh, improve the caching behavior. There is also a uh, platform level support for intra-task checkpointing is um, it's merged into flight gate. Um, now uh, the example is getting merged and it should be released in 0 0.19.2. What this means is if you have a really long uh, training job that's going on and you have an infrastructure failure or you're using spot instances or you know interruptible machines instances in GCP and you want your your training to continue beyond those interruptions. Um, right support synchronous checkpointing at the moment and eventually will also support asynchronous checkpointing for those tasks. Um, and the, and uh, it guarantees sandboxing of these checkpoints, retrieval of these checkpoints and, and restoring of these checkpoints for subsequent runs. So that's in now, uh, we would love your feedback. Um, this has been requested by some teams, so it should really work. Uh, lots of UI features, and I think I'm not going to steal the show from Jason. He's going to talk more about this, so, uh, but keep your eyes open. All right, enough of me. Um, we have two interesting talks. One of them is by Stephen and Tim, who are here, and another one is by Jason. So, Stephen, on the way to you. 